Praise the Lord. Amen. God is so good. Tell your neighbor, God is so good. Hallelujah. And devil is bad. Amen. God is good always. He will be with his people all the time. Amen. Never be afraid. Never be dismayed. Your opponent, your enemy, don't just underestimate him. He is powerful. But he is powerless in front of a believer. Amen. That's the secret. He is very powerful. But in front of a believer of Jesus Christ, he is powerless. That's the difference. So what we really need to do is, we put ourselves in the position as a believer all the time. You need to put yourself as, as children of Jesus Christ. So meaning, you will not mess your life. You will not put yourself in things which you do not need to be. Where God wants you to be, you must be. What God wants you to do, you must do it. Amen? What God wants, to, wants you to speak, speak the same thing. Otherwise, if you happen to be in front of your opponent, enemy, adversary, come on, you are powerless. That's a place where he starts fighting with you, hitting you, destroying your things. But the moment... You stand up as a believer. You're really so powerful. You have the same power what Jesus is having. Not he had, he is having at this moment. He gave, he spoke to his disciples, says, saying, I have received all the authority in heaven, earth, and under the earth, everywhere. So, therefore, go ye. That's what Jesus said. So, the authority and power, what Jesus is having, is handed over to us. It is under you. When you stand in front of the enemy, don't just be afraid. Speak to him. But how you will speak to him? Every day, every day, every day, Whenever you remember, whenever you pray, I will tell you, I will teach you a secret before I get into the word. So that I really need to equip the church. I have read this passage many times, but as this warfare is going on, I have seen different demons, very high level demons coming in this season. Coming and fighting, looking at me, staring at me. I said, nothing doing. You have nothing to to do with the church and to me and my family, my people, who all are here. You have nothing. We are positioned here by Jesus Christ and we will continue to do what we are doing. Amen? That's what it is. So, the Lord taught me a, 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 a secret. It's not a secret. There is nothing, in, nothing secret in the kingdom of God. But sometimes, you know, we say, oh, it's a secret of that. So it means it's a key. It's a key. That's what you need to understand. Praise God. Leviticus chapter 2, verse 13. Leviticus chapter 2, verse 13. You know, your adversary, the Satan, he is the accuser of our brethren. He accuses. Every day he accuses. He goes to the Lord and says that this is what he did. This is what is happening. He did this. So God always asks you, do you have an answer for it? When you pray, when you ask in the presence of God and when the enemy is fighting with you, God will not just keep quiet. He will come to you because he's a righteous God. He comes to you and asks you, what do you say about this? He's asking permission for me to attack you. He wants me to give a permission over you so that Satan can work against the unrighteousness you have committed. What do you say about it? Always God does that because it's a court. God will not listen to one person and do the, the, the judgment. He will ask you. But that is the time you will repent. You will turn to God. 
and you might have repented all the time or before that you know you might have repented or maybe in the process of repentance that's the time you will tell the lord the lord i'm sorry then the lord turns to the satan and says get out there is no sin in them because they are my righteousness they already accepted christ in their life but this is the promise which you need to keep every day how it works in your life is it says that and every offering of your grain offering you shall season with salt you shall not allow the salt of the covenant of your god to be lacking from your grain offering with all your offerings you shall offer salt i'm talking about the the salt what we we eat salt must be used in all the sacrifices all the offerings that's the that's a condition of sacrifice salt it's a seasoning thing but the lord said you shall not allow the salt of the covenant of your god the covenant of your god which is seasoned in our life is jesus christ this salt you need to understand it as jesus Jesus is the one which gave you the seasoning ability seasoning ability when you see through it is it is grace because Ephesians chapter 4 it says that your words should be seasoned with salt so that the hearers will be edified so before you may be talking very rough words bad words your mind was filthy and now because jesus came in your life and you have changed so the salt represents christ christ covenant should be there in all your offerings your prayer your offering is when you come into the presence of god and tell the lord that lord you know i'm really i'm in this condition you are bringing your petition in the presence of god you are bringing your praise and worship offering in the presence of god but every moment whenever you come to that altar of god whenever you kneel down to pray whenever you sit in your prayer chamber whenever you are on your bed or in your bathroom or kitchen or on travel or wherever when you remember about something to remind god you need to understand one thing just take the salt covenant covenant of jesus christ and tell the lord that lord i am here why because of the covenant you entered with me when you remind jesus of the covenant you entered with him he will never stay back he will bring all the answers you are asking but before you bring into the covenant or before you remind the covenant be ready to cleanse yourself the bible says that when you bring an offering if you know that something is there you have something against somebody or someone is against you something stop your offering there don't just carry on no jesus will understand me he knows me if you step more forward that's the time you are powerless in front of satan jesus will never answer on behalf of you but if you are cleansed if you are totally repented and take necessary changes and alteration what is needed cut all the things what is not needed then let me tell you your offering is accepted if satan claims something from your life the lord will say hey i am a, i have a covenant with them and my covenant cleanse them from all their unrighteousness now you have nothing get out that's a time you will have power to rebuke him before that if you rebuke satan he will not go it will be like i know paul i know jesus who are you amen power of sin will bring you down but the power of the cleansing power of jesus christ make you more strong and solid amen so today from this day onwards 
every moment when you remember to pray in the presence of god think about your offering if you are taking your offering through the covenant of jesus settle your issues with anybody near or far away your own personal life cleanse it and then you stand up and tell the lord that lord i am here because of the covenant of jesus your soul covenant with me is christ jesus amen and so god can never stay back when you are attacked by the enemy he will protect you he will take you out and he will make you stronger and stronger praise god let's close our eyes father god we surrender all of us once again to you lord jesus we we we, we thank you that you took the initiative to enter a covenant with us and we surrender all of us to you cleanse us lord lord we repent on areas where really we, we miss your fellowship we repent on areas where our life is not straight yes father and righteousness pride disobedience many areas we are we are weak wickedness filthiness unholiness adultery fornication many many thing drunkenness yes father lord sometime we are hypocritically we think we speak lord though there is fault within us we find fault of others forgive us lord we speak ill about people yes father cleanse us lord we bring all of us in the, in the uh, into thy hand yes father as church we come to you lord give us a heart where we will look to you and you will bless us and lead us we thank you father we love you jesus we give you all the glory and honor and praise us to you in jesus precious name amen amen